Picture this. May 7, 1931. New York City sees the most sensational manhunt in its history. The target? None other than the notorious Two-Gun Crowley, cornered in his beloved's apartment on West End Avenue. An astounding 150 officers besieged his hideout, the air crackling with relentless gunfire. Upon capture, Crowley didn't see himself as the villain, but the victim. He penned, Under my coat is a weary heart, but a kind one. Staring at the grim fate of the electric chair, he boldly declared, This is what I get for defending myself. But Crowley wasn't unique in his misguided innocence. Al Capone, Dutch Schultz, they too harbored similar sentiments. Even successful figures like John Wanamaker recognized the futility of criticism. In a world where few accept blame, grasping this can transform our interactions. Thank you for tuning in. No.